Hey everybody! I'm here today to tell you all about car lights. In this video I'll be explaining everything that there is to know about the various lights that you will find on the outside of your car. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to give you a first person perspective on everything that there is to know about car lights. If you take a look at the steering wheel here, the lever to the left controls the car lights. It's very simple and straightforward. As you can see right now, it's switched to the off position. So I'm going to be going in and out of the car to sort of show you uh, what it is. So right now, when it's off, the automatic daytime running lights should be on on the car. Now, depending on where you live, your car might not have automatic daytime running lights, but this car does and they should be on uh, as far as I know. So on this car, the automatic daytime running lights is like this bar right here down the side. So that's one version of the light. Those are going to be on pretty much all the time that the car is running um, just and that's basically so that even during the daytime you know you have some presence on the road with the light now the next thing that I want to show you uh, are the actual corner lights so I'm gonna flip this switch one time as you can see that little light turned on right there with the two lights the two sort of semicircles pointing inwards those are gonna be your sort of your corner lights your amber lights so they're your turn signals and they're gonna be on and as you can see right here in this car they're right along here so that's what this represents that is sort of the turn signal light uh, that turns on the nighttime light the nighttime amber light that turns on when you flip that switch one time okay moving forward I'm just gonna keep going in and out of the car just so you guys can see what it's all about okay uh, moving forward uh, we have auto next which I'm gonna not use because obviously it's daytime so nothing's gonna turn on and then you have your headlights okay now your headlights over here uh, along with your fog lights I can turn the fog lights off or on that would be off and this would be on right here as you can see so we're gonna go and look at the headlights and the fog lights now your headlights are gonna be sort of a rather bright beam that's gonna illuminate the vast majority of the road in front of you as you can see right over here those are the headlights right over there okay and your fog lights are gonna be towards the bottom so right here with the headlights on uh, that's what it's gonna look like now you'll also notice that when the headlights are on okay and the fog lights but when the headlights are on this still stays illuminated which are those ambers in the corner and the automatic daytime running lights in this vehicle but depending on the car that might be different now most cars when your headlights are on your ambers will surely be on and then sometimes your automatic daytime running lights will also be on as well and your fog lights are going to be towards the bottom over there and they're meant to illuminate the little bit of road in front of you in case there's fog and let's just face it they look absolutely sweet okay now the next thing is the high beams so the, i can flash my high beams like that very simple as you can see right now check this out when i turn my high beams on you can see right there the headlights turn off so they don't go on together instead they turn on independently just like that now if i want to leave my high beams on i push that forward as you can see right there, the high beams are on. Now, the high beams are a very unique type of, of uh, light in the headlight housing. And basically what their job is, is to create extreme brightness in front of you. So as you can see right over there, the high beams are illuminated, which are right in the middle there. And they actually look a really, really, really bright. Now, interestingly enough, even though that light turned off, saying that the headlights were off, the headlights are still on. But like I said, it all depends on the actual car. I believe actually that might have been, if I, you know, I was reading through the camera, maybe the fog lights don't turn on with the high beams, which would make sense because you wouldn't be using them together. If your high beams are on, then your fog lights are gonna be off. Let's just see um, before I actually give you guys a final answer. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. That is actually the light for the fog light. So when I turn the high beams on, the fog lights turn off. When I turn the high beams off, just like that, the fog lights turn back on. You can see it's the fog light because if I switch it on and off like that. Sorry about that. And it's the exact same uh, uh, symbol right there. I do apologize. Now, last but not least, well, not last but not least, but the last on the front of it before we go to the back are the actual turn signals. Now, I'm just going to actually, you know what? We'll put on the hazards so that we can sort of see both of them in action. Then we'll move to the back. If you take a look right here, the turn signals, first and foremost, uh, this car actually has it on the mirrors, but you can see right here on this car, the turn signals are right, uh, this bar along here, but oftentimes you'll find them in the corner on a little amber light. Um, and this actual illumination of the amber stays illuminated even while the turn signals are on. Now, like I said, this is all for this specific car, because if you have a different car, it's obviously going to be a little bit different, but you want the general idea of what are the high beams, what are the headlights, what are the fog lights, what are the automatic daytime running lights, what are the signals, and so forth. Now, last but not least, we're going to move to the back of the car. I'm going to lower my voice because I don't want to disturb my neighbors. But at the back of the car over here, as you can see, in the taillight housing, 
right here this is the actual turn signal okay you can see it's just an amber flashing light then outside here we have the actual tail light that is illuminated and then when you actually push the brake what's going to happen is that's going to illuminate even brighter part of that okay and then inside right here this little what it would be a clear light like a white light that's going to be for the reverse light so basically when you turn on your headlights and your interior lights and so forth right when you turn that switch all the way you're going to illuminate the tail lights which means that you're going to be ready for driving at night because that means that people are going to be able to see you when you're in front of them. So that's basically it. I mean, that's the gist of car lights. I went over the headlights, the tail lights, uh, the high beams, the signals in the front and the back, the fog lights, uh, automatic daytime running lights, reverse lights. I pretty much tried to go over everything, show you um, what to do in the car to make them activated and then what they look like outside of the car now like i said every car is going to be different okay and modern cars have way more variation than older cars older cars seem to have a sort of like a standard for lighting but with modern cars you know you have different led bars you have different things that happen when you turn this light on and that light on so it's going to be different but i just wanted you to get the general idea about all of the lights that you might find on your car and that's it if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.